Namaste everyone and welcome back to Live Stronger. Today we are going to do a short leg workout. I was running short on time so I decided to get as much as possible and I hope this workout also helps you understand how we can get maximum amount of work done in a short period of time using the right exercises and the right technique. We are going to start off with the greatest stretch. We are not going to skip on that. We are going to do our dynamic stretching to ensure our lower body and upper body mobility is primed up properly before we do any kind of weightlifting. If you do experience any kind of restriction or tightness, I would recommend doing a couple of extra dynamic stretches like hip and ankle mobility stretches. Post completing the greatest stretch, I move on to my deep squat. The deep squat helps you identify any tightness in your hips or any restrictions in your ankle again before we move on to any squatting movement, any deadlifts, rows, because these are all movements which demand a lot of hip mobility and ankle mobility. So we want to make sure that that's good. So squatting deep before any workout is good for us. We're going to start our first exercise with barbell squats. We're going to do a warm up set, which is not going to be counted as a working set. And then we are going to do four sets of working. Now for four sets of working, we are going to do progressive overload, wherein we are going to increase the weight by in, in regular progressions as much as you can control. The first set target is 12 reps, then 10, then 8, then 6 with 60 seconds break in between. Since we are running short on time and we want to get maximum out of it, how can we do that? We are going to elongate the time period under tension. So basically we are going to do the reps as slow as possible and also pause in the deepest point of our squat, maybe for a second helping us put ourselves at a disadvantage so our quads have to do more amount of work our glutes have to do more amount of work in terms of getting the weight back up now you have to take a slightly wider stance than your shoulder width to ensure you do, uh, don't have an extreme amount of butt wink because when you squat deep the butt wink increases so take a wider stance open your toes out and squat as deep as possible if you can go absolutely ground ground your ass it's very good do that now for me this depth was very good i was feeling a great amount of stretch in my quads and also every time i was there i was doing slightly more amount of work to get the weight back up remember our targets are 12 10 8 and 6 repetitions but if you fail around fifth repetition in your last set that's absolutely fine like i did so i'm giving myself a little bit of slack but yes, please do try deep squats and pause squats. That's going to give us a lot more growth and also ensure us a lot more results in a short period of time. After completing the squats, I moved on to hamstring curls, seated hamstring curls. Now we are going to do three sets of these 15 repetitions plus pause repetitions, wherein we are going to add on another 20 repetitions in five rep intervals so five 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 four times giving a gap of at least four to five seconds in between now by the time you hit second set you will be burnt out your hamstrings will start getting extremely tight your glutes will start getting tight and that's the fun part we have a short period of time we are trying to get the maximum out of our legs thanks to the deep squats wherein we have paused we have controlled our weight we have went we went as deep as possible the hamstrings start punishing us when we start pushing it way beyond 15 repetitions make sure the weight is challenging you don't want the weight to go easy one more thing i like to keep my toes touching when i'm doing a hamstring curl so i would recommend you to do so give us an all-round uh, development for our hamstrings you can see in my face i was struggling the pain was there it was causing a lot of trouble and i was also going out of breath because this video is of my i think the second set which i was doing the first set did not come out quite good in the video. But yes, the struggle is there. After completing these, we move on to leg extensions. Now here the pain starts. Because thanks to all that squats again, wherein our quads were at absolute disadvantage in the deepest point, they start hurting really bad. And we are going to do the same thing. Three sets, 15 repetitions, plus another 20 with a challenging amount of weight. First 15 would be easy. But once you start getting into the interval period, is in when the pain, the lactic acid starts kicking in really hard. Just push through it. Take your time. You might feel a little bit like you want to vomit out. 
just control it you just have to do three sets i know first and second set you still would pull out but the third set would be really painful and challenging but i'm pretty sure you'll push through if you want you can take longer break 60 seconds is not mandatory if you want you can even take a two minute break to complete the reps out but yes the workout would be over within half an hour if you keep on with the timing and don't take extremely long amount of breaks and it's a pretty easy setup all together and that's it we are done we have fried our legs we're going to finish off with the static stretching for our quads and our hamstrings starting off with our quads again the static stretch also will start hurting thanks to all those deep squats and the extreme amount of volume we have pushed through in our leg extensions so make sure you hold on for those 15 to 20 seconds if you're not able to do that do 10 10 seconds at least couple or even three times but we have to get that static stretching in because we don't want to go on home with tight legs completely full of blood now for hamstrings again a simple leg raise stretch place your leg at a height and start stretching your leg i hope you like the workout i hope it was as challenging as it was for me for you also make sure you squat deep make sure you get all your repetitions in and i assure you it'll be a complete leg workout and you would feel the soreness and tightness maybe immediately or the next day depending upon the recovery levels of your own body but again thank you so much for joining me if you did like the video please do drop a like and if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel please do subscribe any feedback in the comment section is absolutely appreciated thank you and i'll see you in the next video have a good day